Good morning. Welcome back. Nearly 8 million Texans have voted early, the most in the country in a state historically known for low turnout. So what is driving the Lone Star State to the polls? Joining us now with his answer, Congressman Lance Gooden. Congressman, what is the answer? Why is this happening? Well, I think we can all agree that both sides are very enthusiastic about this election. Republicans are turning out like never before, but Democrats are as well. I hear Democratic leaders celebrating these huge turnout numbers in the urban areas, but they fail to recognize that in the conservative, more rural areas, we've got record turnout as well. So I think if everything is the same, with the exception of high turnout on both sides, then Texas stays Republican. And I also think that people seem to overlook uh, something that few people know, which is that during early voting, in urban areas, there's never uh, more than one or two mile distance for someone to drive to an early voting location. However, you go out into the more rural counties in Texas, many of which are in my district, sometimes it's a 20 or 30, mm. 20 or 30 minute drive to vote. So people vote on election day, more so in these conservative counties. I think Republicans will win big on election day and early voting. Now, you know, obviously we take the polls for what they are. They are something right. that is happening right now. They're obviously going to change. Um, even in the next couple of days, they're likely to change. But let's take a look at this one. And this is the presidential preference in Texas right now. This is a New York Times Siena College Research Institute poll. And as you can see, it is close. Is it concerning that at this point, Texas is this close in the polls? I don't think so, because every two years there is some close poll, and I hear this all the time, Texas is going blue, Texas, we heard this during the Beto Ted Cruz race, and it was closer than we would have liked. There was a lot of energy and enthusiasm, uh, but we're just seeing such high turnout numbers in these rural areas that are keeping up with these urban areas. I think everything will be a wash, and Texas stays red at the end of the day. Meantime, Congressman, Texas preparing to send in 1,000 troops, D.C. as well, beginning to board up its stores ahead of the election. How worried are you about election violence and unrest? Well, I'm worried about post-election virus because I believe President Trump's going to win and the far left and all the crazies uh, that were out looting and destroying businesses are going to come back. And you can look at New York. The New York Police Department has ordered or suggested, rather, midtown businesses to start boarding up and bringing in furniture and locking up their belongings that are valuable on Election Day or by Election Day. And so the governor, I think, is just in preparation, cautious mode. Uh, but I think it says a lot that D.C. and New York and some of these areas are encouraging businesses to prepare for violence. That tells me that they think the president's likely to win. I can tell you, Republicans and conservatives, we don't go out and bang, uh, bang up storefronts. We don't break glass and we don't protest and go crazy on election night when we lose, which tells me the other side, and we all know that they know that as well, the other side is preparing for the far left and Antifa and all these rioters that we had earlier in the year to come back out in full force when Donald Trump's re-elected president. All right. Representative Lance Gooden, Congressman Lance Gooden, thank you for joining us. Appreciate Thanks. your time.